What should we do after Ramadan? One of the signs, my brothers and sisters, of an accepted season of fasting and standing in Salah, one of the signs of an accepted Ramadan is that our life changes even if it were to mean or even if it was to mean just by a few inches. But the life has changed. If my life changes after Ramadan, it means my Ramadan was correct. If my life becomes better after Ramadan, it means my Ramadan was correct. But if my life goes back to where it was before Ramadan, then I wasted my Ramadan. You know, Shaytan, as we have learned from the blessed lips of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the devils or the main devils are tied up in the month of Ramadan. So what would happen is it is an opportunity for us to develop ourselves without major interference. Although the little devils are there and sometimes we become devils ourselves. My brothers and sisters, it's important for us to know that Allah has blessed us by telling us and informing us that the major devils are tied up in the month of Ramadan. So my brothers and sisters, what they do sometimes, they keep us in a certain place. They tie us down there before Ramadan. As Ramadan goes, we happen to do whatever we do in the month of Ramadan. The day we see the Eid or the moon of the Eid, we go back to exactly where we were prior to Ramadan. What was the point, my brothers and sisters? This is why promise Allah, we will not engage in that which will earn the wrath of Allah or make him displeased with us. The reason is as soon as we see the moon, two things happen. One is Ramadan comes to an end. That is also very sad. But the second thing that happens, my brothers and sisters, those devils who were that were tied prior to Ramadan, they are released. So my brothers and sisters post Ramadan, do not miss your Farad Salah. Try and increase even your Sunnah and Nafil. And when we fulfill our Farad Salah, make sure we take our time. Make sure that you are giving a gift to Allah. Don't rush in that gift. Allahu Akbar. Another point, after Ramadan, we need to continue to be charitable. The day we die, we will be able to see the reward of those single dollars that we have put into a little coin box. Subhanallah. Remember one thing. Charity begins at home. The way you treat your wife, the way you treat your spouse, the way you treat your children, those who work for you, be very careful. In the month of Ramadan, we were careful what went into our mouth. We also need to be careful what comes out of the same mouth, my brothers and sisters. Many of us will never touch haram. The minute we hear that there is a little pork ingredient in something, the whole world gets up and cries foul because we don't want haram to go into our mouths. Why don't the same people worry about haram coming out of their mouths on a daily basis when they are swearing, when they are lying, when they are cheating? My brothers and sisters, we can put an end to this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Truly, my brothers and sisters, in Ramadan, we are trained how to live for the rest of the months of the year. Let us hope that we can achieve something. So our dress code improves, our prayer improves, how we speak improves, our charity improves, and everything will improve. 